What's up, YouTube? Just want to do a quick video of my um, DJI NASA setup. Um, I was messing around with it. I was trying to figure out how I could have um, altitude hold without having to worry about, you know, um, when I'm putting rudder inputs, uh, messing up the stick, you know, maybe pushing it up a little bit or down a little bit. I wanted to see if I could use one of these uh, switches so I could lock the throttle in 50% without you know me worrying about messing with the throttle while I'm putting rudder so here we go uh, let me go to the transmitter calibration I'm pretty sure you could see that pretty good now what I did is that I still have the switches I, I'm still able to switch from attitude mode, manual mode, and then fail safe. Okay. Um, right now, that that's controlled by this switch right here. By the way, this is the FS TH9X. Um, top of that switch is attitude mode. You can see right there. It's an A. The middle is still in attitude mode but I changed the throttle on it. It's locked into 50% throttle, so pay attention to that and that. I'm gonna switch it to the middle position of this switch, and there you go. That's in attitude mode and altitude hold. 50% throttle. No matter what I do to the throttle, see that? Up, down, up, down. Right now, I have the throttle all the way up on the transmitter, but it stays 50% on the nozzle. So if I put rudder inputs, I don't have to worry about bumping that throttle up or down. So it works pretty good. What I did with that is that I went to settings and we're gonna go to throttle curve and this is uh, position one okay that's a throttle curve it's regular position two I have it flat 50% all the way from low one two three and then high so what happens is that you know I have an attitude mode and you know I have throttle control on my left stick but once I put it in second position it locks the throttle in so and all I have to do is I want to get control of my throttle again just flip it up and I'm good to go so that position one on that stick is attitude with throttle control. Position two is attitude mode and 50% throttle locked in. And my third is manual mode. Okay. And as far as fail safe, fail safe is right here. This is the switch. This is my uh, throttle cutoff switch. As you can see right there. It's in attitude mode, and then now it's in failsafe. That's from me flicking that switch right there. Click it, now it's back in attitude. The good thing about using this switch right here is that it doesn't matter what attitude I'm in, whether it's you know top, middle, lower switch, whether I'm in attitude, attitude with the 50% throttle lock, or manual, I can still hit this switch and automatically put it to fail safe and it sets the whole everything down okay so that's what I did you go to throttle curve and put it to 50% and make sure you're you put it 50% on the what is that position the middle position on this switch and then you hit enter saves it 
and then you're good. And you can see here on um, the pitch curves. See that's attitude mode. That's a metal switch. It's still in attitude mode. And then that's manual. So that's attitude mode. Attitude mode with 50% throttle lock. Manual. And see what happens when I flip this back switch up. That goes straight to 29%, which is fail safe. So, yep, that's how I did it. Uh, I was racking my brains all day how I could set that throttle, lock it in at 50% without me worrying about, you know, dumb thumbing it. And I figured that that works out best. I've tried it without the props on, just holding the quadcopter. Because I'm still waiting for props. Um, I broke a bunch of props trying to mess with gains and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to post a video of you know, um, me putting this together and explaining what I have on the quadcopter. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, message and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.